Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to episode four of Cooking with m &S. Today I'm going to be using m and ingredients to make Indian curries and various accompaniments to go with that. I'm going to start by making a cucumber raita, a quick onion pickle, pilau rice to go with the curries, and a dessert using m and yogurt ice cream and mango. The two curries I'm going to make are chicken tikka masala and a lamb korma. So we're going to start by making one of the accompaniments to the curry. On your right hand side you can see the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. We can start by taking cucumber, peeling this, using a potato peeler, cut it in half, then quarter, and take the seeds out. Cut lengthwise again, and cut into little cubes. A few leaves of mint. fresh yogurt and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. Mix up all the ingredients, transfer a bit of salt and pepper and garnish. Very simple, you do it ahead of time, put it in the fridge and serve it when your curries are done. Our second accompaniment to the curries is a quick onion pickle. This is straightforward. Again, make it ahead of time so it marinates in the juices until you're ready to serve it with your curries. Start by taking an onion, top and tail, cut into thin rings in a bowl. Break it up into rings, a little bit of sugar, salt, a few coriander seeds, enough cider vinegar to cover the onions. As they sit in this vinegar, they will pickle and get a milder flavor. And the juice will take some of the purple color from the onions. So there's a quick onion pickle, again ahead of time, into the fridge and serve with your curries when they're ready. Next up, pillow rice using M&S basmati rice. For this you will need 500 grams of rinsed M&S basmati rice, one liter of boiling chicken stock, one chopped onion, herbs and spices such as bay leaf, cinnamon stick, cloves, cardamom, thyme, lemon zest and chopped butter. Melt two thirds of the butter. Once the butter is melted, add the onions, saute until soft. Add the rice, mix well coating nicely, add the herbs and spices, cook for one minute. Chicken stock in. Add the remaining butter, cover tightly with foil and place in preheated oven for approximately 20 minutes. Once ready, take out, remove foil and fluff slightly with a fork. And here is the pilau rice which you will serve with the curries. So, using M&S Korma sauce, I'm going to do some lamb curry. I've got boneless leg of lamb, which I'm going to trim up if there's any excess fat. You can ask a butcher to do this for you. A bit of fat is okay. You can do this ahead of time. It actually recommends that you marinate the lamb in the sauce, even a day before, and then simply bring it out, put it in a pot and cook it. The longer it sits in the sauce, the more flavor we're gonna get. So, our cubes are in there. Lamb korma sauce, make sure you cover it, mix it up well, and heat it for about 10 or 15 minutes on a low flame to make sure your meat is well cooked. Next up, chicken breasts with M&S tikka masala sauce. Same process as the lamb. Fresh chicken breasts. Trim off any fat bits and cut into cubes. Put into your cooking pot. Cover the chicken with M&S tikka masala sauce 
and stir. You will get the best results if you leave your chicken to marinate in the sauce ahead of time. Cook for 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. And that's the second curry, this time using M&S tikka masala sauce. For dessert, I've got M&S coconut frozen yogurt together with some mango. I'll start by chopping up the mango and taking the skin off. Mangoes are lovely when they're ripe. You do find them nowadays in supermarkets. They have a lovely fresh flavor and together with the M&S coconut yogurt, they'll go beautifully. Taking the M&S coconut frozen yogurt I'm putting the cubed mango on top of the coconut yogurt ice cream and just put a sprig of mint to garnish. So the two curries with pilau rice, adding other M&S condiments such as lime pickle, spiced mango chutney and naan bread. So that's it for episode 4 of Cooking with M&S. Today we made cucumber raita, onion pickle, two types of curries, a lamb curry and the chicken curry using M&S sauces. We used M&S basmati rice to make pilau rice. And finally, we made a dessert using M&S coconut and yogurt ice cream, which we topped with mango. You can purchase these ingredients on winedrop.com or any of the M&S outlets around Malta. You can also find these recipes on Taste and Flair magazine. I look forward to seeing you again for the Christmas edition of Cooking with M&S.